had a little trouble with um, a piece of equipment. So originally, since my dad was coming on this trip, I ordered a mobility scooter for him. Well, he, um, he indicated that he didn't want to use it. But I thought, you know, it's something that people on cruise ships use on a regular basis. It would be good to film some of the challenges of using mobility scooter on a cruise ship environment, especially a large cruise ship, with pretty full capacity going here, probably. So I kept the scooter booking that I made, and I had them deliver it to my sister's room. And she told me this morning it wasn't there when she, <laughs> when she went out, because we left it in the hallway. She actually has a really, um, a really large hallway. And so we, we left it there. Uh, the room she is in is not handicapped any more than the room that my father would have been in was handicapped. And so there's really not an easy way of keeping it in the room, even though the Royal Caribbean website does say that you're supposed to keep it in the room. So it was gone this morning. And then when she came back to her room or the next time she looked out, I'm not sure which, it was back, but it was in front of her neighbor's cabin instead of in front of hers. And so she got a hold of her room steward who explained that uh, apparently they will take them and uh, take them down to deck one and charge them overnight for you, but that you're supposed to leave the key in it, which I did not because you don't want to leave a key in there. Or God knows anyone can just take off with the scooter when you're not looking. And I had also seen things about people mistakenly taking the wrong scooter, thinking that this was theirs and, you know, they're all keyed the same, apparently. And so I was like, well, hopefully that won't happen, but yeah. We wound up putting a tag on it when it came back um, and did verify with the room stew that this was, in fact, the scooter that belongs to her cabin and not her neighbor's cabin, who were probably confused. And, um, but she did say that, that if you leave it out there at night, they will take it and they will charge it on deck one or you can call them to do that, and it, they'll bring it back in the morning. Um, so yeah, that that was news to us, and a bit disconcerting to go out of the cabin and find the scooter wasn't there. And so I think that um, that's a heads up to anyone who is using a scooter too. You just, you don't want the experience of going out when you need it and it not being there. So. That was our surprise for this morning, and I scurried over there to try and straighten that out when the scooter was gone, and then it came back. <laughs> and and I'll film people using the scooter. I have two models to use the scooter. Practice here before we get into our crowded area. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. No, Is that as fast as it goes? Yeah. Stop a second. Really? This controls the speed. So oh, okay. if you want it to go faster, you make it go do that. Let's and then, see how okay. fast it goes. So okay. that's as high as it goes. So be careful hitting the gas, and you'll yeah. see how it so, can go whoa, faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so yeah, whatever whatever is comfortable for you is what uh, you should set it to. Slow down, Mr. Speedster. Yeah. Then you then you wind up getting ahead of your party. Yeah. Because you're way ahead of us now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little something to get in get used to. And remember, any of these elevators could go, so you might not be in the right place if you go all the way to the end. Uh, well, we'll hold this the goes door. Back for we have the technology. You sure? We don't have the technology to get online. Though, There's a horn. Phone. It's locked. Well, here's the thing about backing up. You might want to turn your head in case. Oh, you might want to see where you're going. There yeah. don't seem to be any mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Go on. There's people. This is someone new learning the scooter, so yeah. oh. your toes are at risk. <laughs> so where are we going? First we're waiting for the elevator and then we're going to go down to deck five. Okay. Here we go. Stop the elevator. Oh. Okay, so there is not room. What we might want to do is when that's like emptied out, get in, go up, and then go ahead and go back down. Yeah, we may wind up finding that we have to go up to go down. Yeah. We'll see. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And there's room. Y'all go. Yes. I'll catch the next. Got a scooter coming in, guys. Okay, I'm holding. Come on. Thank yeah, you. He does. Student driver. That's yeah. right. He needs a student driver's yeah, yeah, yeah. sign. <laughs> okay. Now that's really cool. What do y'all want? There's room. 
five? Yeah, okay, five. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's room. One more. You've waited a long time. <laughs> no, you've waited all this time. Yeah, you passed all your, your tests. Now you have to pass reversing out of an elevator. <laughs> oh, I'm moving before that. <laughs> Just wait until he puts a reverse. Huh? That's eight. Somebody? Eight. It's full house. Oh. Yeah, it might be tough. <laughs> Deck five. Deck five, everybody. Oh, is that it already? No, not me, but I'll hold the door. Thank you. Okay. Just a second, just a second. Okay, now you can come out. Straight back, you got nobody behind you unless you turn too much and then you'll hit that man in the blue shirt. <laughs> All right? Okay. All right. Let's go. You are ready to go. Let's just see how it is walking through here. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, now I want to hit the gas. <laughs> get in line. Let's see about getting tags for everybody. This is not a bad line here. Okay, go ahead. That is a tight turn. We want group three. Yes. Three, four, two, and we would like group three. Yes. Can you hit the button from there? What button? The one to open the door. Oh, yeah. Okay, because I mean, this is the whole point is that this is you by yourself on the scooter. Okay. okay. Just pull right over there and then you can get off. But I'm really disappointed that there is no handicapped bathroom in here. Looks like we'll be able to use this. There's room. Go on ahead, Sharon. I'll keep the door. Oh, it's it's aggressive sometimes, those doors. Go on ahead. Don't hit anything. There you go. <laughs> oh, I said don't hit anything. That includes the elevator. Yes, I would suggest not run. You don't want her running over people. <laughs> she has been very entertaining. <laughs> okay? yeah. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, forward. Okay, I'm this way. You are to your left. Turn it down a little, Sharon, because every time you go forward, you're going forward too fast. I think fast is in the eye of the wall. <laughs> fast is in the eye of the wall you hit. I didn't hit any walls. Yet. Oh. oh, now you're just racing, Sharon. I know, well, now that we're here. And there's, there's little, little running obstacles. Okay, you're having way too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this 
the parents. They're so far back. Was that your voice? God knows. Yes. I said, oh, no, they you went go. far. He, he kept running. <laughs> You got it, Sharon? Yeah, I need to turn it off. Yep, that would be good. This is the restroom. This is the ladies' room, forward deck four. And this could easily take a rolling in, either a wheelchair or otherwise. I had an interesting development with the scooter, and this may be something other people experience. So. The scooter has been parked in the hallway outside of my sister's cabin. Largely because it really does not fit in the room. If you put it in the room, you lose access to things like your closet or your restroom. And so it's not really feasible to keep it in the room, although they say they want it in the room. But our cabins, her cabin steward had mentioned if you leave the key in it at night, they'll take it down and charge it. Um, and then bring it back in the morning and so we had been keeping the key in it but sometime this morning my sister noticed that the scooter was gone and thought well maybe maybe it hadn't been brought back up for from being charged so she asked her rooms to and she said oh well maybe your sister has it but Sharon knew that I was on a shore excursion today and so I wouldn't have it for any reason. She didn't think anything of it too much because she thought maybe they were just late bringing them back. But around four o'clock she noticed, hmm, it's still gone. And so when I saw her at dinner, because of course I was away at a shore excursion all day, she was like, yeah, I noticed it was gone, and uh, maybe we should check when we finish dinner and go back and see if it's back. So we did, and it wasn't. So I flagged down one of the stews in the hallway and told him what was going on. He was not, you know, her room steward, but we, we, we couldn't find her anywhere. We told him what happened, and he called down trying to find out, because they, they take him down to deck one. And that's where they charge him. And, and so he called down there to see if it was still there. And no, it wasn't still there. And he called around to see if anybody else knew what happened to it, but nobody seemed to know. And of course, the key was in it because they told us to leave the key in it. And we're not sure when it actually went missing. So the room stew said, well, go down to guest services and make a report and they'll have you talk to security. And then they'll be able to try and find it around the ship. And so we went, I went down because my sister was, um, she didn't think she needed to go because of course I'm the one who rented the scooter. So it's rented in my name, but I put it in her, associated it with her cabin because at the time I was doing Royal Up bids and I wasn't sure if my cabin was going to be my cabin and I didn't want to lose track of it because I wasn't sure where it was going to be. And of course the, the original thought was that my dad might need it, right? I went down told him what happened. He said, oh, well, she's going to have to come down because it's associated with her cabin. <laughs> she was, unfortunately, she was getting ready for bed. She had already gotten undressed and everything, so she wasn't happy to be told that I needed her to come down and make a report. But she came down. And he took, he had us fill a form out, and he took the report, um, and, and she asked that I be the one who be contacted so they don't wake her up in the middle of the night if they happen to find it, which is fine. And so... We had to wait a while for security to come by, and then they did an interview with us to find out, you know, as, as much as we could recollect, you know, when was the last time it was seen, and they're going to try and look for it and let us know if they find it. So they're saying it's a fire hazard to keep it in the hallway. Her hallway is actually twice as big as my hallway, which is why I really wanted to keep it there if we could. But, and I've seen scooters parked in hallways tons of times. So yeah, maybe if you had a handicap room, there would be more room for the scooter. I'm not sure, but not everybody who rents a scooter books a handicap room. So this is something that uh, that's really concerning and hopefully we'll get the scooter back. You know, we're, we're thinking, well, did someone just see it and decide, oh, well, I could use this. This would be convenient and just take it. Or was it kids playing or someone drunk? You know, it's hard to say what it could have been. It could have been a lot of things.
But the bottom line is that the scooter that's supposed to be there isn't. Okay, another chapter in the scooter saga. At 10.45 last night, they called me and told me that they had in fact found the scooter. And I asked them if we could just store it down in deck one where they charge it until we call for it and they said yes. This morning, Sharon just called and the scooter is out in front of her cabin again. <laughs> so I told her to just take the key and put it in her room. She is going to, however, if she can find someone in the hallway, she is going to ask them if they can just take it back down to deck one like we asked them. Because they did agree to store it there for us until we asked for it. But obviously the automated processes where they distribute all the scooters before everyone has to go on a shore excursion happened anyway. Whatever. Uh, at, at the very least, you know, without the key, hopefully it will be less likely to vanish on us. Or if it vanishes, it would be crew, not just some random person. They did not give me any details as to where they found it or, you know, if, if they knew about who took it. But one assumes the fact that they found it within, you know, th less than three hours that they probably consulted some recordings from the hallway and saw who took it and, you know, maybe were able to trace where it went. But I was pretty impressed that they found it that fast. So, there's that. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens. What's the message? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So the key isn't in it. Must be in her room. 